Okay, hey guys, what's up? Um, so I filmed a clip last night, but I'm gonna actually cut it because it was it was a very very bad clip. Uh, um, today is Tuesday the 30th, and I haven't really written yet today. But what I'm gonna do before I sit down and start, I'm gonna plan out actually my April month of what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Social media. <laughs> you know what? Thinking about that, let me put you on a tripod because I actually have some things I want to talk about. S speaking of planning things. It kind of slipped my mind that I usually like to do like a plan with me. I might actually schedule an impromptu plan with me over on YouTube tomorrow. The past few times that I've done them on, on Instagram, I've gotten like randos <laughs> hopping in the comments making me uncomfortable so like, like people who don't even follow me they're just like add me to your stream add me to your stream and i'm like mm, lock in please. there we go um it's so much easier to interact on on youtube anyway uh but i want to plan out my month of april a little bit of the social media side of things because i feel like i have been not great at, the, at my social media game this month i think my instagram feed looks fine the green turned out really pretty but i don't know i'm just i'm just not loving i want to talk about my books more because that's really what my instagram is about is just about my books and talking about my books and sharing snippets and stuff like that i think that's what i want to do i i think I just haven't been loving where I'm at right now, so. And I don't know if it's maybe because I don't like the consistent, like, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like that. I, I don't know what it is, to be honest. Because for me, posts, like, with an image, um, see how it's, like, an, I mean, posts, like, where it's an image versus posts where it has the green background with text. The green background with text do better in terms of saves versus the posts with images don't. You know, they don't get saved, they don't get shares, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to find my group of things, and I haven't really taken any pictures of my books lately, so that could be it too. Maybe I'm just in a rut of what kind of content to post. It's fine. We'll figure it out and go from there. I do need to plan out some posts for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the title reveal for Destelle's book. And then I'll get to work tonight. Um, I, haven't, I didn't take a nap today, so I don't know how late I'll be up tonight, but... I'll get some work done. Oh, I got these books in the mail yesterday um, from Kaylee Johnston. Um, I'm so excited. Look how beautiful these books look, you guys. So we have The Awakening, which is a novel, and then The Witch, which is a novella. So I'm very excited about these. If you guys haven't checked out Kaylee's books, I'll leave them linked down below. Thank you, Kaylee, for sending me some books. I love book mail. I love mail in general so if you guys ever want to send me a letter because i'll definitely write you back it is my p.o box is always down below let's do a time lapse ignore the messiness that is my desk i live in a realm of chaos and and things <laughs> you get the music turned on So I went to open a different Word doc to check something um, that, a, that a client gave me and now my Word document has crashed. This is the exact reason why I had autosave turned on um, and it says it's, it says it's saved. And I had 36 suggestions left to go through but if I force quit it I'm afraid that the suggestions will like just like go back from the beginning because I haven't closed this Word document since I started working on it back when it was however many suggestions it was. 700? No, it's more than that. I haven't closed the Word document. So I'm afraid that if I close it and reopen it, it'll give me 700 suggestions again and I won't be able to figure out what the last 36 were. I've been sitting here waiting, hoping that it would fix itself, but it does not seem to be doing that. So, <sighs> I guess we're gonna do this together. We're gonna force quit it together. I don't wanna do it. Okay, three, two, one. It hasn't forced quit yet. It, oh, there it goes. You have forced word to quit. Oh, great, thanks for letting me know. Oh, yep, nope, they refreshed. Yep. Uh... Oh, yep, okay. Well, that's awesome. Um, so I guess we're just gonna 
forget about those last 36. It was only 36, so maybe my copy editor will catch them. I don't know. But what I'm going to go through now and do is just look at... I'm going to show you. I'll flip you around. This is what Pro Writing Aid looks like. It has all these, like, checks your summary, checks your style, grammar, thesaurus, overused words, um, all repeats or echo words, structure, length, transition, readability, and sticky words or sticky... Um, sentences and I think that is just so interesting and cool and thorough and I'm I love it you know so actually before I hop into that I do need to check I do need to check um client piece really quick just to check the word count okay 48,000 that falls under what they said but I do need to extend the delivery time since they didn't give it to me in time and there we have it. So hopefully they accept and I will get to working on that in, after I finish my stuff because I think I want to send um, my manuscript over to my editor tonight. I told her it was going to top out at 94,000 but I'm not even sure if it's going to hit 93,000. Um, let's look at grammar. Actually no let's not look at grammar. I don't want to look at grammar. I don't want to look at grammar. Don't make me look at grammar. Actually that's one of my black ones. Let's do some black ones today. Wow, I look very geeky. <laughs> Own it. Okay, you guys, I think I'm ready to send it to my Readsy editor. I think I'm ready. So we're topping off the manuscript at, oh, hang on, I already closed it. We're topping off the manuscript. These glasses look wild. You can't even see my eyebrows. Do I, hello? Hello, there we go. It's weird. Topping off the manuscript, 93,192 words in 329 pages. I'm actually going to plug um, the Word doc into my Vellum software to see how many pages that would be in a book form. I'm kind of nervous because this is by far my longest book yet. I think Can't Catch My Breath was 80,000 words. I think. I think I want to say, Vellum, why are you not working? So without doing like the acknowledgements and intro pages and stuff, it's going to come to, here you go, are you ready? It's going to come to 376 pages. That's not bad at all. I was kind of worried. Although I was kind of wanting a thicker book. This one's going to be really thick. I think my longest one is like 320 something. I was I was wanting it to be a little bit thicker, to be honest, but because I feel like it'd be so fun to have like a really thick book, but I'm excited because now that I have the um, tentative page count, I can email my cover designer, ask for um, the file to be altered so I can order a proof copy and then start my copy edits that way. If you guys don't know how I do my copy edits, I don't do it with a print book, but I do want a print book because I want to be able to take pictures as soon as possible. I'm so excited. This is insane. I'm going to do that actually, but I think I'm not going to update you guys anymore tonight because after I do this, I probably should work on some beta reading. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. So we'll do that. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Happy first day of camp! So, I'm gonna be honest. It's a little cold out here. Uh, you focus? Uh, I need a thick blanket. Let's get this one. Do I need fuzzy socks too? I don't know, guys. I have the coffee mug robe on! It's been a hot minute since I've worn this in a vlog. But we, we're back, baby! Uh, hey guys, what's up? It is April 1st. April Fool's Day to be out. Oh, here are my scissors. April Fool's Day, but it's also the first day of Camp NaNoWriMo. It is um, a little after one, I think. I actually am not working on my camp project yet. I have client work I have to do right now, about two hours-ish worth. Um, so yes, I'm trying to be more disciplined with my client work um, because I always put it off until the end of the night, but I really do think I need to get it finished first. If you guys don't know my project for the month yet, it is actually going to be editing draft two of Edith's book. Edith is from Out of My League. In case you've read that book, then you'll know who Edith is. Isn't coming out uh, until August. So we have plenty of time to work on draft two and things like that. Um, and I'm excited. And then at the end of the month, on the 22nd, I'm supposed to be getting my copy edits back for Two Kinds of Us, which is mind-blowing. I'm really excited about that and really nervous at the same time. I'm, I think it's, I think it's going to be great. 
Two Kinds of Us comes out May 25th. It is now um, able, you can now add it to your Goodreads shelf. I made a Goodreads, Goodreads, Goodreads page for it yesterday. So you can now add it to your Goodreads shelf. So yeah, so many fun things are happening today. I have to release the blurb for Two Kinds of Us. I have to show some character art. Might as well get to work now. Maybe we'll do a time lapse. My tripod's all the way over there though. Can we do can we do something where we don't need a tripod? Or can I use something else as a tripod? How is camp going for you guys so far? I know it's only day one for me, but by the time that's too low. No, oh, that's not gonna work. How about this remote? Awesome. By the time this vlog comes out going to be I don't know when this vlog is coming out so I'm gonna keep this short because it might span over a, few, a lot of days by the time this vlog comes out it's going to be multiple days after the first of the month so you'll have had progress hopefully I have progress too I won't know I'm freezing should have turned on my heater before I got comfy Okay, so it's an hour later and I'm freezing my butt off, so I am not staying out here any longer. It's freezing today. It's like 30 something? 32. It's supposed to warm up soon. Saturday it's supposed to be 61 and then from there it's supposed to be in the 70s, so we just gotta hold out. Freezing. So we're going inside. I launched my ARC sign up maybe two hours ago. And I'm already 10 away from how many arcs I wanted to do. Um, so I'm at 40 arcs right now, arc signups right now. And I wanted to send out 50 this time. So I just want to say, if you don't get picked for the arc, um, it does not mean I don't love you. It was really just... I just want you guys to know that I still love you, even though I can't pick all of you for the arcs. And I still hope you enjoy the book when it does come out. If you choose to purchase it, I'm not totally up to you. But, um, yeah, I just, I wanted, I... I didn't expect <laughs> so much interest right away, um, but I am excited. Thank you to everybody who has signed up so far. You know what? Maybe I will extend my ARC list um, this time. I, I am going a little more than I usually do. I usually do like 25-ish, but I wanted to do 50, th 50 this time, but maybe I'll do a little bit more. Maybe I'll do like 100 this time. Maybe we'll go crazy. Depends on how many arcs um, I get until May, the beginning of May. I'm running the arc signups until May 1st. But anybody who has signed up for my newsletter can, um, can what, Sarah? Can, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Can sign up for the arc. Oh, I'm freezing. I want us to run it, run it till the end of April because that's as long as I said I was going to do it. Next time though, I probably will just say I'm gonna keep it open until I hit a certain amount, but it's fine. I'm freezing. I don't think my fingers are really that red, but they feel red. That's all that matters. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys in a little hey, bit. Y'all, I'm looking through Edith's book right now. Tell me why it's the cringiest thing I think I've ever read. It's not that cringy. Is it? It's it's kind of cringy. So look at so Sophia and Edith are talking. Okay, here's here's the line. Ladies, I couldn't help it. I dropped my textbook, jumping as if someone had screamed in my ear instead of just Zach greeting us as he walked up behind me. Is that cringy? Because <laughs> it it really sounds cringy to me. But she's not screaming. She's just jumping as if somebody had screamed. But I just don't know if it's like cheesy sounding writing. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe I'm just being overly critical. It never fails. <laughs> After I edit a book, I'm going back to edit a different book and I'm over I'm so overly critical. You know, like I'm looking at all this and I'm like, this is not as good as the book I just sent off to my editor. Like there's so many wases, you know. But it's not supposed to be perfect. But why does that make me cringe? The thing is too, I'm trying to decide if I want to have the book start off with Edith feeling one way or a different way it's kind of a major change so i i don't it's something i would have to fix you know i'd have to i'd have to alter i don't know what i'm trying to say um just articulate your words i have been having the worst time trying to talk lately and i have no idea why like i, I like i'm like i'm stuttering oh, fudge. i'm stuttering over my words and i don't know why or like i'll say the wrong word 
And I'm like, I don't know why I just said that word. That's not the right word. Ugh, it's happening a lot more lately. And it's like, it's really hard for me to figure out what I'm thinking, like articulate my thoughts. So that sucks too. I think it just gets worse when I'm <laughs> like, when I realize that I'm stuttering and, and, and I think it makes it worse when I, when I realize it and then I'm like, shoot, okay. Cause it, it just stresses me out anyway. What's something I've said? So, that's something I've been dealing with lately. <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> anyway, what was I even talking about? Oh, I wanted, to, I didn't know if I had to fix Edith's. Edith is starting the book feeling one way about a certain character. So I don't know if I need to like, if, if it's a good idea to keep it that way or maybe to like change it and like flip it around so she feels a different way about this character. I'm not totally sure, but whatever I decide will change the course of the beginning of the novel. So I have to make that decision now. I'm gonna let you go because this vlog clip is just not working for me. Oh well. Hey guys, so it's, I think it's a little after 8.30 on Friday night, Friday the 2nd. I didn't end up updating you guys um, last night, um, but I did edit three chapters, three, two or three <laughs> chapters. My goal was at least two every day, so I did that. Um, I think it was three though. Um, I haven't really edited much today, but I'm going to be doing that soon. Hey guys, so it's 11 o'clock. I just got to chapter 9 in my work in progress. So, progress. Um, another strand of my Christmas lights um, cut out. So I'm going to have to change them because I only have two left. Um, actually, that's only half of a light. So that's going to go out soon. That's only half of a light. So that's going to go out soon too. So I have two strands, two lights collectively they only make up one so it's gonna go out soon and it's gonna be dark and that's gonna suck i have to find a ladder and that's just gonna be a whole ordeal and i don't want to do it but we have to can't reach like i said i got to chapter nine of my nano project i think i want to have to do another pass because i'm not totally loving how everything's playing out and i'll just fix it later but I think I'm raising it right now for a reason. I think it's still going at a good pace. I just think it's going to need another pass. Let's move my sticky notes down. So, good job. I'm just going to take in the camera. I don't think I'm going to take in the tripod because the tripod is like really awkward to carry. And I got a lot of stuff to carry. I have got another headache, guys. What is up with that? All that's left is the lights right here see that's burnt out so it's just these little strands and then these right here so it comes up and then it fades into a burnt out light so love that for me hey guys so i'm using my phone camera so that's why my arm is extended just so i have like light here um it is after midnight, so it's technically the 5th, but I'm still counting this as the 4th, um, I wrote or I edited up to 13 chapters, so chapter 13, which is absolutely insane that I've gotten so far so fast, but even when I finish, like, I still have more to write at the end since I did not do, um, the ending originally. I didn't write the ending originally, so we still have that to write, and I want to do another pass. So we're on track to finish by the 22nd, because that's my goal, since I do have my copy edits back that day. Um, but for the first four days of Camp Nano, I think we have some great progress. So I'm excited to see how the rest of the month goes. This vlog is coming out Monday the 5th, which is different from my usual upload schedule. Usually I do a sit-down video, vlog, and a vlog. Um, sit-down video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, the last two are vlogs. Anyway. Uh, usually I do that, but for camp, I'm actually going to do one on Monday and one on Friday. That way Fridays covers the week and then Mondays covers the weekend. Not choppy, so choppy as it is, you know, now. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. I'm excited to see how this layout works and how this routine works for me. 
Um, hopefully it'll give you better vlog content. I know this vlog was kind of all over the place, just, that's just because I was putting together bits and pieces of footage, but now that all of those pieces of footage have been used, it's time to fully dive into the vlog footage every day. So I'm really excited. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to go over to Goodreads and add two kinds of us to your Goodreads TBR. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an author of four young adult romance books, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.